Let's test TP-Link's AX11000 with Wi-Fi 6. I purchased the AX11000 from Costco, but you can find it on Amazon. I will post the links in the description. This router uses Wi-Fi 6 and you can have up to three networks. One 2.4 gigahertz and two 5 gigahertz networks. I primarily use this for gaming, work, streaming, zooms, and streaming content. I purchased it because of all the antennas and I was like, well, that can reach around the block. And it would eliminate the necessity of running an ethernet across my house to game. So here it is. It's got lots of vent holes, which is good. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight LAN ports and one 2.5 gigahertz input for network. Looks like we're gonna have to connect our antennas there. And it's got a lot of ventilation holes, which is good. We don't want it overheating. Oh, and it looks like we got mounting holes here. We have one, two, three, four, four mounting holes. All right, so before we connect the antennas, let's see what else is in the box. So if you got an instruction manual, you won't be needing that because I'll be your instruction manual. Here's the antennas, it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is what they look like. Nice plastic there. Looks like we have part of the power input here. We have an ethernet, pretty short one. Which, I mean, if you're connecting to a modem, I don't think you're gonna have it too far. And the other part of the power cord. And this is gonna be important for later in the video. It's the Wi-Fi information for your router. So don't lose that and keep it handy. So step one is installing the TP-Link app. So just type in TP-Link, looks like I already have it, and install it. It's, uh, I guess the full name is TP-Link Tether. And I sped it up so you don't have to wait. And this is what it looks like. You're gonna set up your account. Down below it says create a TP-Link ID. Uh, just hit agree when, when that pops up. And you're gonna put your email, your password, Keep that handy too, because you're gonna need it once you're done completing uh, the setup process. And looks like you're gonna have to go into your email and confirm your account that you created. And you're gonna click the plus on the top right, set up a new device, click gaming router. It's gonna be the Archer AX11000, yep. So you're gonna prepare the hardware. We already took it out of the box. Now we're gonna install the antennas. Now there's no trick to doing this. You don't have to twist or turn anything. There's the, where, the hole for these little pegs. And all you're gonna do is just push firmly and they should give this satisfying click. Listen for this. There's the click. And you're just going to do that for all eight antennas. Make sure they are firmly seated and you hear the click. And that's what it should look like. Nice. If you're into this look, I got it mostly for functionality, not for beauty. <laughs> and you can't adjust antennas, so don't try to flex them. So it looks like we're going to have to unplug our modem. My modem is the Aris surfboard. And I'll link to it in the description, but it shouldn't matter what modem you have, especially if you're using one from the service provider. Next, we're going to use the Ethernet to plug in our router to the modem. This Ethernet is just way too short, so I'm using a 100 footer. And you're going to plug it into the blue port in your router, and then to whichever available Ethernet on your modem. And just make sure you push it in all the way. Next, we're going to Repower up our modem by plugging it back in and then waiting for two minutes. Two minutes later. And now we're going to.
power up our router by plugging it in and turning it on. So we have these two power cords, just plug them in and connect this little end right over on this side where the ethernet ports are. On the right of the power button, you're gonna plug it right in there. Push that right in, like a glove. And then plug it into a power source. And now we're gonna check the router's LEDs. Should be solid red or white. So we're gonna power it on. Now that we have it plugged into power, and we're gonna be waiting a while until it turns solid. It'll pulse like this for a while, so don't get anxious or impatient. Once it's solid red or white, go back to the app and let it know that it's solid and just grant location permission so you can connect to the network. And while it's searching for your device, like and subscribe, guys. It really helps me out and the channel and yourselves for some reason. So for me, the Bluetooth setup failed, so I'm not gonna retry it. Uh, I'm just gonna do the use Wi-Fi setup down at the bottom. I found this to work. And this is where that Wi-Fi card is gonna come in handy that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. It has the network name and password. Here it is right here. Remember this, guys? So hopefully you didn't lose it. If not, you can just look under the router for it. And once you get connected, come back to the Tether app and select I am connected down at the bottom to continue. And you should see your device there. And you're just gonna log in with your TP link that you created in the beginning of this video. So type in your password and you'll log in. I already have mine set up um, only for 5G. I didn't need the, the 2G. And I have six clients here, so I click on six clients. Uh, here's my devices that are connected. I only have one device on the second one, which is my desktop PC. And the little crown on it means I have priority set for it. And then the blue icon up on the Pixel 4a is where I'm accessing this app from. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the tools down at the bottom right, click on the tools icon. And then it'll bring you to this menu and you're gonna click at the top, quick setup, right at the very top there. Come on, can't miss it. There you go. And you're just gonna run through the setup. Just click next for most of these, just click the recommended. And you'll just basically follow along. You type in your network ID and password and just continue on. If you like this video and you'd like to see more of the features that this uh, router provides, let me know in the comments and I will make a separate video on that. And that's basically it guys, let's run a speed test now. Now for the speed test, I have six devices connected, but none of them are really active. This is pretty late at night and I'm about 60 feet away from the router. And there's two walls between me and the router. I did a test and it turned out to be 538 megabytes download and 24 upload. And I do have Comcast gigabyte internet. So this is purely on Wi-Fi on my phone. But let's run another test just to see. Usually when you do a second speed test, have you ever noticed how it's always higher than the first one? Yeah, it's pretty funny how the service providers do that. So here I am gaming now, and I did another test and it was higher again. I think it's pretty funny how service providers, they probably do something when they notice that there's a spike with the speed test and they just speed up the network or something. Well, thanks for watching everybody and, you know, catch you on the next time. All right, have a good one. I didn't have a, yeah, bye. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe and, uh, you know.